we're here with the very awesome Heaven's Basement. We are halfway through your tour now, Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just how has it been so far? It's been amazing. Um, didn't really know what to expect because we've not done a headline tour for quite a while now. Yeah, I've kind of been busy like, doing festivals. We came back and it's just been what, by far over what we expected. Like, most of the gigs have been selling out and the crowds have been amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the set has been really fun. They've been the hottest gigs we've ever done. Yeah. It's like the dirtiest. It's, it's been yeah. So, so you're at festivals, uh, you were at Downward Festivals a few weeks ago. So yeah. Uh, I think it must be a record if I have four sets there in two years. Uh, Actually, we might have five. Five. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how is the Dublin Festival this year for you guys? It was amazing. It was a, a step up from last year, and last year was amazing too. Like it was probably the most anticipated gig for the guys in the band because mm. it's like a home town, sort of like. Yeah. And it's like the biggest rock festival. Like we've been in America doing festivals, and even like over there, download. The name download command to respect. Like every time we go to a like that, I'm like, oh man, download is amazing. So, and it is, and it was. Yeah. So how to? What's the difference in the festivals like download compared to the festivals you play in the US? You know, is there a big difference in you know, the crowd react? Is it? Uh, not not, not, not really. Uh, that they, they run slightly differently. Whereas at download, there's bands all kind of playing at once and they kind of. You have to work out who you're going to see. You're going to see 20 minutes this band and 20 minutes that. Yeah. In the States, they tend to be one band plays, and then when they finish, the other band plays. So it's great to meet Yeah, so we like, kind of move around like that, which is it's, it's great for us being quite an unknown band, because yeah. then they have to watch it. <laughs> yeah, because so. yeah, we were at one festival, I think it was in, uh, to North Carolina, yeah. where it just rained constantly. Hammered it, yeah. Surely you guys are used to that. You yeah, we, we, were, like, with, yeah. we were one, like, there was a lot of bands had cancelled, whereas it didn't bother us, because we were like, yeah. We were English, we were like, bring it on! Like, yeah. We'd just been in the desert for like two days, so we were, we were welcome. Yeah, so you played the uh, States, and you did your first headline tour in the did you? What, in the States? In the States. Uh, no, we did, we, your first we, did a couple, States, we did a couple of headline shows in the States. Yeah, so how is the shows in the States? And, uh, I mean, it's every band's dream to play in the States, yeah. in the UK. You know, so well, it was amazing, because we mixed it up. We had festivals, we had uh, support slots with Buck Cherry, and we did some headline shows, and we literally went all the way across and around. Yeah. It was, it's a bit of a blur, but it was, I remember it being amazing. Yeah. Like, we get to go to places that you would never normally see, you already see in like, films and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys have a reputation for being like, such a hard working band when it comes to touring. How important it is to you guys to try and tour as much as possible, and maybe you reach the places you don't often, you know, all the bigger bands don't really touch like that. Yeah, you, that's always been important to us. Like, we're, even, like from back from day one, we would try and go to the most sort of out of the way places. We we toured the Highlands a couple of times just off our own back, yeah. and we would go to a place like Wick and Fort William and Sky, and yeah. just do all the kind of places that a lot of bands didn't go to. And from that, we still see the benefit because we, now we know people, and, they, they, and yeah. now when we come up to Scotland and travel, it's like, it feels a bit more special. Like everyone's part of the band. Yeah. Like, we had those really cool experiences together. Because we just hang out and party with everyone after the shows as well. So. Yeah, so do, you have this, do you notice you know, some of the same old faces? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like yeah. more obscure places. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, cool. Uh, you released your debut album, Filthy Empire, must be about six months ago now. How's the reaction been to that so far? Yeah, pretty good. We, we didn't quite realise the, uh, the impact that it had. We knew we'd, 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 we'd written out that we enjoy listening to ourselves and yeah. it, you know we put it's easy to say we put part of the thought into it actually there actually wasn't a lot of thought went into it it was kind of like what we wrote was what we wanted to hear you know, that's the sound that's on the CD the CD is just a souvenir of the show you know we wanted the show to be loud and brash and in your face and kind of a bit unforgiving um, but the you know the, this tour is a um, good example of the success of the album because like just show after show this tour was just sold out and that's a uh, something that you can only thank people for because they obviously enjoy listening to what we listen to which is just unrel you know, unrelenting yeah. noise. <laughs> yeah, and you said, uh, you've, seen, you've seen a few interviews before, you know, the, the recording process was a bit um, unforgiving sometimes, you know, do it to elaborate. Well, it was quick. We did the whole album in about eight days. Yeah. So I don't know how unforgiving that could be, but like, we did it 24 hours a day because we had to get back to download last year. Yeah. 
I got it when the vibe was right, we were like, let's get the album done now. So we sort of set ourselves a challenge and we did. Um, but you know, there's always a build up to making the album. Once, the album, once we were going, the album was fun and we were just recording and yeah. writing and stuff. But you know, it took us a while to get to the place where we could record. And that's not just music, but a lot of things. You have to do a lot of things and make things happen to be able to get in a studio. Yeah, yeah. So all that part was, took a while, but once we got there, it was like easy. Because once that, that's it, our element put us there, and then yeah. we're going, you know, we've done it. So yeah. it was uh, it was fast and hard. Yeah. So you actually sent uh, Red Bull Records to release this album. Uh, yeah. How did that come about? With it? How much did they guys help you? Um, they're great. Uh, a few years ago, they got in touch and they just say that they really like the band. And they kind of saw our vision of it and believed it. And they came to see us a few times. And yeah. We were right into it. And um, they knew that we weren't particularly happy because there was a couple, there was a couple of lineup changes. Going like we don't feel like we're ready to sign a deal. And the same with a few other labels as well. Yeah. And the, but the reason that the Rebel Records guys were cool because they were like, cool, you go away and do your fit. And cut, let us know when you're, you're happy. And they stayed guys for like three years, keep going back. How's it going guys? Yeah. We still like them. Well, like, there was one, we played a Sonosphere, but it was just three of us left. And the label was still there going, bring it on, like whatever yeah. you want to say. So that um, amount of belief a company because they did they could have easily just gone that far like, yeah. find another one like, really like believe yeah so a lot of people see Red Bull and see this big kind of corporate but yeah but it's not the label is very independent it's, yeah. it shares the same monarch yeah. it's a whole separate entity group yeah um, and it's run by real passionate music yeah. Yeah. and it was just that belief kind of made us sort of go like, yeah, fair play, you're not just industry money driven yeah. fucks. So you're that like, you're there into when they came along, you know, the, uh... Well, we were fairly experienced and we, you know, we treated everyone with an air of suspicion. Yeah. <laughs> so we always have done with everyone. <laughs> but that's why we, all the people that we do know the circle are always real genuine people. Like, I would happen, like, I'd love to go out and just have a beer with anyone to the label or anyone that's yeah. doing manager or anything because we just let solid people like yeah cool um, we've been asking on twitter <coughs> for a few days now some uh, some of your fans want to ask you a few questions and uh you know michael put off some of the best ones but one from uh who's i don't think it's his real name it's basis rule but uh never mind <laughs> like to know, uh, what american bands would you like to tour with the most purpose of impact. Um, I know um, a band that we got quite friendly with recently, um, Five Finger Death Punch would be great. They are quality guys. They are really, really nice guys. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think that, 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 would, that would be great for, for us. You know, that would be a good little build. Yeah. Sentiment you share? Yeah, those guys are great. Yeah, if you catch them and download them, are pretty. Uh, yeah, yeah, so the same room. Yeah, the singer Grab a Bottle of Water was like drawing stuff on the floor there and pouring it over it. And all that, I was like, wow, that guy's uh, he's into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, one from Kirsty Walker here who uh, wants to know what is the best way to spend a summer's day? Is that a nice day for us? On a boat, fishing rods, cup of beers, barbecue, done. I would say <laughs> a couple of beers, <laughs> the garden, then go and go and play a gig. Yeah, then see how it goes from there. Nice one. And, uh, Toby Michaels wants to know what is the strangest thing has actually the same. Um, the most awkward was a joint. <laughs> that sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, and I was more, I must have been more concerned with the damage the ink was. <laughs> <laughs> so that's you didn't want to damage the structure of the tank. Yeah. I've had like 13, 14 year old kids come up with their parents and they've got like, this like brand new iPhone and they want us to sign the actual like, back of them. I'm just like, oh, really? And it's like a 700 pound phone, is that okay? <laughs> You want to ask the parents, like, is this really okay? Usually they're, usually they're like, yeah, sure. But it was always a little bit weird. <laughs> you don't have the awkward parent who says no, of course. No, <laughs> no, 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 I've not had that yet. Yeah, I, I find it weird when parents go up and go, can you sign my daughter's chest? <laughs> that I find a little weird. I think that answers the question <laughs> perfectly, actually. <laughs> and uh, the last one is from Don Barkley. Uh, he wants to know what's the best piece of advice for any outside plans. Uh, work really hard. Give your life to it. 
because um, the only things that really work at, make it work are enthusiasm, dedication, and tenacity. And um, be prepared for for it not to be as it, like easy all the time. But you, as long as you have fun with it, there's nothing to stop you. Know, so just keep going. Because yeah. that's all we've been. Thanks, well, well uh, thanks for speaking to us and uh, yeah, best luck for the show tonight for the rest of your tour. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.